What's up, fam? Brand new Whitechapel track. I've been putting this one off. A lot of people have already reacted to it. Warfin's name this track. The album Kin comes out at the end of the month. I believe I already read the lyrics and I already read the comments. So y'all don't have to freaking keep see me stare at my phone, which I'm doing right now. So this is the third single. We've already reacted to the first two, Lost Boy and the Blood Soak Symphony, which I think I prefer the last single, but I don't know. I have not played it all that freaking much. I'm not a big deathcore dude, though. I know it was more straightforward as opposed to Lost Boy with a melodic clean vocal section. So I heard that this one's a lot more melodic, though. So I'm pretty stoked to hear this with another music video. Jesus, these guys are going to blow up. I mean, they're already blowing up. They're already blowing up. Could be torn with Cannibal Corpse, brother. It's huge. It's just the way it is. How did I find myself to be so pitiful? And though we're all alone, and I lay 
Brodsky. Five minutes. Or almost five minutes. All right, I'm gonna head home now. Wanna get that in. Ice Nine Kills, we're gonna do a reaction. I don't know when, but we're gonna do a reaction for that entire album. At some point this weekend, it's probably tomorrow. As for this song, I know everybody wants to say that this sounds like Tool. I don't really listen to Tool like that. Quite honestly, I think this is more, if we're gonna compare it to anything Maynard related, I think this is more of like a perfect circle type of vibe with a little bit of 10 years sprinkled in. I think there's a lot of 10 years vibes, I think, more than perfect circle, if we're being honest here. To hit. I think Phil's got more of that nice sort of register that the 10 years vocalist has. I don't know what his name is. And I think there's more captivating moments in a song like this. No offense to 10 years. I, they probably have songs like this. I just don't think that they're as powerful lyrically and uh, even vocally. Just really well executed. Whatever the fucking metal elitists want to say, they can call this butt rock all they want. But Hey guys, so I just wanted to chime in here. Little freaking note to just add a little bit more to the video because I feel like sometimes I do my slight reviews here and I'm just like oh good 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 like vocally good everything good awesome good but, uh, there's just a little something I want to add to this okay and I think that I don't want to hear any negative criticism for saying this but I do hear a lot of good five finger death punch vibes Oh, I, I'm prepared to get flamed for saying that. So when Five Finger Death Punch is like at their sort of balladry, like just cool type of laid back, stripped back vibe, I I think they're actually pretty decent. I mean, sometimes it's pretty damn melodramatic and it's definitely butt rocky. So I'm not saying that this is White Chapel at the their most butt raucous moment you know i'm just saying as far as like an emotional level <clears throat> they took it to that type of degree but actually made it sound real uh i can't really think of what exact qualities i think vocally it just has that type of same tone just got them pulled into the driveway obviously got that nice strip back sound and they potentially might play in the same tuning or close to it so that could also be another key factor, but overall, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting more 10 years vibes, a little bit of five finger death punch and a little bit of a perfect circle. I don't hear any tool. Everybody's saying tool. I don't know just because Maynard's in both bands, but I, I still just hear a little bit of a perfect circle. Instrumentally too, really cool riffs here and there. Nice stripped back vibe. So with that being said, I think this has no flaws. Like, I'll play this anytime I want. I can send this to my father, jamming out. Send it to my friends who aren't as into heavy music, jamming out. I don't find any flaws in this one. 10 out of 10, guys. That's it. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, we're going to have some fun with Ice Nine Kills next.